Howdy! I'm Professor Curtis of Aspire Mountain Academy, here with more statistics homework help. Today, we're going to learn how to find the probability of voters voting with a normal approximation of the binomial. Here's our problem statement. Use a normal approximation to find the probability of the indicated number of voters. In this case, assume that 194 eligible voters aged 18 to 24 are randomly selected. Suppose a previous study showed that among eligible voters aged 18 to 24, 22% of them voted. Now we're asked to find the probability that fewer than 47 actually voted. To do this, let's first check to make sure our requirements are met for using the normal as an approximation for the binomial. So I need to calculate NP. So N is going to be the total number of voters, which here we've got 194. And I need to multiply that by P, which here is going to be the 22% cited from the study. That's the probability of success. And that gives me almost 43, which is definitely greater than 5. If I check NQ, I'm going to see that it also was greater than 5. So we've got our requirements met. So NP here is going to be the mean value for my normal distribution. So in order to use that, I'm going to open up StatCrunch. And we'll pop this out here. And let's go ahead and resize this window so we can see a little bit better what's going on. Okay, now here in StatCrunch, we're going to go to Stat, Calculators, Normal. Here in my normal calculator, I'm going to put the mean value that I just calculated, which we can see here from the calculator display. 42.68. The standard deviation is the square root of NPQ. So here I've got NP. So if I multiply that by Q, which is going to be the complement of P, or 78%, and then I take the square root of that number, there's my standard deviation. And I don't need all of those numbers thrown in here. So let's just go to say, well, okay, we're asked to round to four decimal places for our answer. So we need at least five here. Nine. Okay. And now I've got what I need to calculate my probability, uh, with the exception of my random variable. Here we're looking for fewer than 47. Remember, we have to apply a continuity correction. So normally I would put 47 here for my random variable. We want less than or equal to because that's fewer. But fewer than 47 does not include 47. So I have to go down a notch, say 46.5. This is my continuity correction. Now I hit compute. There's my probability, which I'm asked to round to four decimal places. Excellent! And that's how we do it at Aspire Mountain Academy. Be sure to leave your comments below. Let us know how good a job we did or how we can improve. And if your stats teacher is boring or just doesn't want to help you learn stats, go to AspireMountainAcademy.com where you can learn more about accessing our lecture videos or provide feedback on what you'd like to see. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.